I'm Angie DeSay, your North Lafayette Parish reporter here at Girard Park for the official opening night of Festival Acadien et Creole. And 50 years ago, a group came together to honor the rich history of Acadian, the rich culture of Acadiana uh, through uh, music, song, and dance. Today, that festival has grown to be the premier festival in Lafayette. <laughs> Marking half a century, Festival Acadie et Creole celebrates the rich Cajun and Creole cultures that make up Acadiana today. It was back in 1974 that the Council for Development of French in Louisiana, Cote Phil, hosted the tribute to Cajun music concert, openly honoring a history that was once frowned upon. Over the years, the festival evolved, adding various elements, but it wasn't until 2008 that it became the Festival Acadie et Creole to represent the diverse cultures in Acadiana. The other side of the family are Creoles. Well, we, they form Creole tomatoes from uh, St. Bernard Parish. And my, my father's side are Arcadians um, that, that settled here in uh, Lafayette. So um, just family traditions is the way uh, we honor. Today, the festival honors the legacy of Cajun and Creole people through the food, the music, the Zydeco, passing on the culture to future generations and beyond. Yeah, and the music is actually just getting started right behind me. And as you can see, it is jam-packed here at Gerard Park with people camped out for tonight's festival. Now, if you don't get a chance to make it out tonight, there are three days of events. But, of course, there are some house rules you need to know about. And I'll be telling you about all that information coming up at CZ, which is 6 p.m., talking about parking and all the upcoming performances. I'm Angie Saint, your North Lafayette Parish reporter. We'll see you in a bit.